what I'm going to do is take you through one kind of methodology of execution, all right, sales execution. So uh, I'm going to play a couple of different roles here. The mo right now, I'm going to be an executive at a, at a, at a company. Um, and uh, I'm using like, just a couple screenshots here because I'm, I want to present everything off the iPad. But um, let's say I really want to do some analysis on what uh, activities are driving our business. Right? I've got a team of people, uh, and I want to know how well these activities are working and what's driving what. This is an eye chart. It's a little chart. It shows you on the bottom, from left to right, how many accounts you have that have menus currently in them. And the vertical side says the number of cases that those accounts deplete on an annual basis if they have a menu. Okay, it's a simple thing. The size of the circle is the total number of cases that that account with that menu has depleted. Okay, so I can see things like, wow, um, I don't have a lot of menus on this brand, but man, every one of them does 15 cases uh, per month uh, when they have a menu. That's a lot of volume per menu, right? Meanwhile, I've got this brand over here. I've got a ton of menus, right? We've worked our tails off to get menus for this brand. And check it out. I'm only getting five cases a, a month in volume out of this brand's menus, okay? As an executive, I might look at that and say, I'd like to get a lot more of these, this brand menu, or let's find out what recipe this is and make sure everybody's using it or change the recipes we're promoting with this brand, right? So this is the kind of analysis that I'm talking about. And now I can maybe take another look and, and dive a bit deeper and say, well, let me see exactly what activities are driving, okay? Again, it's maybe difficult to see, and I hope I can, I can point to this and you guys can tell. I've got a few brands on here to, to illustrate this, but what's in blue are accounts that I have distribution in that have no menu and how many cases they do per month, okay? So my gin, I do about a one case a month per account sold or per point of distribution. My tequila, I get about seven cases a month, right, per point of distribution. The yellow is show me accounts where I'm sold and I have a menu, just a menu. No extra training or promotions or anything, but just a menu. And check it out, right, I, I get a nice lift on my vodka. I get an extra three cases a month in volume when I have a menu placement versus if I didn't have a menu placement, okay? Check out my tequila. I get an extra five cases in volume where I have a menu. Now, let's do accounts where I have a menu and I've done a staff training. And you'd be surprised at what the lift it might be. You can see here, but let me illustrate this one. Look, I get an extra seven cases, almost eight cases a month per account that has a menu and has done a staff training than if they just had a menu, okay? So at the end of the day, if I do a menu with a staff training, I get about 20 cases a month out of that account, right? So let me ask you a question. If you're an executive, does it make sense to do staff trainings? I'd say yes, especially for that brand. Um, but that gives me some insight now into, okay, What's working? What's driving my, my sales? I've got another detail for you. You're never going to be able to read. This is all the same brands. Um, but I've added some interesting metrics. Total accounts, how many of them don't have menus, how many cases you get per month, how many accounts have menus, right? Only 18% of my accounts sold have menus. So you've got some interesting metrics to look at. Well, I could look at this and say, wow, only 18% of my accounts sold uh, are on, I have actually menu placements. Maybe that feels a little low. Maybe I could say, I want to set a new KPI for the company. Next six months, I want to have 25, 30, 50% of my accounts sold have menus, right? We can set a goal for that and actually have people get out and work against that. Maybe you're okay with all that. And maybe uh, you're looking at, okay, um, let's look at the accounts now that have menus only with no staff training. So these are those accounts where I did the hard work, I got the menu, but I know that if I do that stupid staff training, I'm gonna get seven more cases per month out of that account. So guess what? 
As an exec, I'm gonna take the easy way. We already got the menu. You see there's 135 accounts in here. We have a menu and haven't done a staff training in the last three months. I wanna do a staff training in those 135 accounts as soon as possible, okay? Using Gradevines, I can do this. I can, as an executive and, or an admin, but execs can do this too, I can click on that number 135 and it'll show me by account. Here's the 135 accounts that didn't have a staff training but had a menu. How many cases they sold this year, last year, et cetera. Analyze it to your heart's content. Take this list and with a click you download it. I can't do it on my iPad, you have to be on your desktop. Download that list of 135 accounts and create an objective in every one of those accounts to go and do a staff training in the next 30 days, okay? Seems like a, a good, smart plan and a way to boost your sales, right? You can do all this in Gradevines with a few clicks and using an upload of the, of a, uh, of the, um, of the account list directly in this objective plan. So wonderful, now I've created all these objectives in 135 accounts where I have a menu and I haven't done a staff training, okay? And I think I'm gonna get an extra seven cases per month now and those 135 accounts. And I'm sorry, just to add a little bit more insight to this, what does that really mean in terms of volume? I said I get seven more cases out of every account, but guess what guys? We also in Gradevines, as part of your data feed and for most of our customers, we're getting some actual case dollar amounts, frontline and, and net price that the retailer paid for every case they've bought from the wholesalers. See, I don't know if everybody's even aware of that and if that data exists. Now all distributors don't, don't share that information through VIP and the other data sources, but a lot of them do. So I now know that I can get an extra 7.8 cases. Well, guess what? Um, the average case price, right, is $175. And that means I'm gonna get an extra you know, $1,300 a month in revenue out of an account if I do the staff training. Multiply that by 135 accounts, I can get $185,000 a year more revenue if I do staff trainings in accounts where I have menus, right? It's significant growth and meaningful, right? Um, meaningful uh, uh, activity. So now let me jump over and be a rep. Um, I've created these objectives, I've pushed them out to my team, I'm a sales rep, I walk into, I wake up in the morning, I don't know, I'm not good at this role playing thing, but I wake up in the morning, I look at my dashboard, those of you who use our mobile app are very familiar with this. I've got an execution summary on the right side, it shows me things like how many open objectives do I have, and um, during this time period, how many of my objectives have I, have I won, meaning did I close, win it, like yes, I got this done, or I close lost. No, I couldn't accomplish it. Well, I'm, I'm closing one almost 82% or 82 of my objectives. I'm on a good path here, but look at all my accounts here that still have open objectives, right? I'm looking at by account, how many cases they bought this year versus last year. When was their last order? When was my last visit to the account? And how many open objectives do I have? I can click on some of these things and drill through. That account had seven open objectives and there they are, right? I can get some insight into what, what are the objectives? Um, so anyway, look, I, I can start to plan my work here. Uh, I know where I need to focus. I'm gonna um, take a jump ahead here and uh, go to into an account. I am planned a visit to go uh, to, to an account called Hideout Lounge. I open up the Hideout Lounge and I can see on the right side, yep, there's my open objective for that Griffin Bay uh, gin staff training in the menu account. I can click on it and open it up and say, what's this all about? Wow, my manager assigned us this objective I gotta do it by November 30th. A little bit of detail there in the description. And by the way, there's a content uh, tab at the top. When I click on it, I can actually see any content related to this product uh, and open it up. So now, either for my own education before I present to the buyer or Mr. Buyer, I need to do a staff training and this is why. And here's what I'm gonna tell your team, right? Uh, here's the tasting notes, here's all my staff training agenda, whatever. And you use it visual aid what have you, you've got your content right there. So I'm visiting this account, I asked if I can come and do a staff training, it says sure, I, get the, I, I do the staff training, um, uh, I can come in and uh, mark the staff training uh, objective, uh, closed one, 
or sorry, or give it another status, either working, whatever you guys decide that you want to do, um, and, and save it. And now I've accomplished that objective, right? I'm going to get credit for it. I'm going to be able to analyze it a little bit later in a second. Um, but I know I've done the thing I'm supposed to do in this account as the rep. As you know, on this account, there's tons of other stuff I could be doing. I can look at the dashboard on the account and examine the sales by month, by product. Right? If those of you don't have embedded dashboards in your mobile apps showing your RAD data, you really should. It's, you know, as a sales rep, it's, it's, uh, it's critical. Right? I can see what they bought and when. Um, I can look at these a million different ways. Um, I can see my objectives and history, my, uh, my um, activity history, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to log a call here because I have some other business I want to do with this buyer. So I click the account call button. Uh, I'm meeting with Ron, but, you know, I just met the new bartender. I'm clicking plus from a CRM standpoint, um, like we talked about earlier. The new bartender's name is, you know, John Collins. And, uh, you know, his role is what have you. Uh, his email address is such and such and such and such. His Twitter handle. He has one, right? Other things you can record about this person. I've got him in the system forever, which is great. I can put my comments in, and I can do it this way. <coughs> Met the new bartender, John Collins. Uh, he loves the Patriots. Let's take him to a game. And now uh, I'm going to log my call. So um, I notice I don't have any open objectives anymore, um, but I could easily create some. Let me record the fact that um, I got an order commitment. I heard somebody talking about that earlier, so I'm picking things that I've heard. Somebody said, I wish it would be great if, as a supplier, we went in and made a presentation. We could then show the distributor like these order commitments we got for them to follow up on. Does everybody know they can do that with a tool? I can log an order commitment right here. I'm in the, this account. The guy said he wanted to buy the, 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 the Pinot Noir. He's uh, committed to me today, but he, he said he'd have it shipped, I don't know, maybe uh, next Monday on his, uh, on his order. Um, so I've captured an order commitment. Um, I can record lots of other things uh, like um, POS placements, merchandising, I'm on the tap handle, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And by the way, um, take pictures of stuff, right? I want to record, oh, I got a great by the glass placement going on in here. It's on the bar menu and the wine list and on the cocktail thing. It's, uh, it's on this product. Uh, I got a start date is today. It's going to end. Uh, I don't know when, so I'm going to leave it open. And it's $12 on the menu, which is wonderful. And you know what? I might as well take a picture of the menu while I'm in here. So let me take a picture of the cocktail list that has the, 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 the buy the glass list, right? That's got the, the listing on it. I can put any comments at all that I want. It's linked to this brand, this account, time, time stamped and geocoded. I could post this to Chatter right from here if I want. We talked about Chatter. Do it instantly right from there and save. This goes in your photo browser. Somebody was saying they can search for displays that they got on any brand in any market in any account on certain days. Well, this is now in that database and viewable in the photo browser. So I've done some great stuff here. Um, I'm going to uh, submit this. Last thing I want to do while I'm in here, just because I feel like demoing this survey, because a lot of people like to survey, and a survey is a great methodology for driving execution, as well as gathering information that when you're in the field. Um, I'm going to show you a little new feature about surveys. So I'm in here, and I, I really want to know what's on the menu. Uh, and uh, so I can say, is uh, Griffin Bay tequila on the cocktail menu? If I say yes, I get prompted with more questions. Oh, great. It's on the menu. So what's the drink price? And uh, what type of drink is it? Right? I'm making these up. Every one of these questions have conditional now questions that'll pop up as you go. I got no there, I got a yes there. I better take a picture of the menu again because this is the cocktail menu. My camera's really bad. Um, again, all linked and tied to this account. Um, are they doing a, uh, did you sell in a New Year's Eve promo? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, great, new feature. You sold in the promotion, uh, what program? Right? What marketing program does this tie back to? And now I can go in here and select from a list of, uh, of programs through the lookup and say, oh, this is our you know, holiday cheer program that I've sold in. And my budget, I told them that we'd spend $300, and I, I could have put the date. So you're able to now capture a lot on the survey that you didn't before, right? And you still have points, et cetera. In fact, beer guys love this. 
I can go in and say, hey, what's on tap? And instead of asking every single question by brand and I have to say yes, no, well now I can just say what's on tap and I can multi-select. So I can say, oh, uh, my milk stout is on tap. God, I don't know what that is. And my, uh, and my summer lager are on tap, right? So I can add as many as brands as I want or competitors, right? So anyway, I'm done with all that. I'm gonna submit it. I get my survey score. Great, I get points for this. I got 55 points out of 100. Here are the three things I didn't get right. Oh my God, the top one, getting Griffin Bay Gin on the menu is worth 25 points. I better do that. I'm gonna create a new objective for myself. Whoops. I'm gonna uh, create a new objective for myself to uh, get this done in the next seven days, okay? I now have an objective to do that and really move my, my, uh, my business forward in that account. Um, we talked a lot about uh, collaboration with our, our distributor partners and vice versa. Well, right now I could actually go and look at my email. Here's an email that came into my inbox. There's the account call I just made. Account, name, address, blah, 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 whom I met with, the notes, about the comments, the fact that I got the order commitment, right, and the fact that I have a buy the glass placement. You wanna tell your distributor you just did that for them? I can now forward this on to whoever you want at the wholesaler, the rep, manager, uh, the order desk, whatever you wanna do, and pass along this information, even with some notes, right, saying, hey, look at this one thing I just, great just job I just did. In fact, you may also want to uh, let your distributor know that you've been doing a ton of stuff, right? Well, I can go back to my homepage here, click this activity recap. Those of you who haven't used this, it's a great simple way for a rep to tell uh, or pull out, almost like designing a report here at the top, pick the dates that he wants to do start and end. So I'm just gonna say, show me all the account calls I made between this date and that date. Maybe he was on a work with, so he just picks today. And he says, run the recap. It's gonna show me every account call I've made by account, whom I met with, the comments, I got the display, I got an ad here, um, on and on and on, right? So every detail about every call I made by, by date with a, uh, a place for people to type in comments. And um, I can now email this to my distributor, the guy I just worked with, my boss, whomever. They can reply to the email and use those comments and those spaces next to each call. And now you've got a thread going about follow-up, okay? Last thing, because I only have one minute left, is I'm gonna, I'm the exec, I'm gonna go back in now as the executive to my uh, dashboard. I'm gonna go to my dashboard tab here. I've got a couple of things. Um, great, so here was that objective that I created. This was uh, uh, for the, my, my staff training and menu account objective that I did. I published it in 88 accounts. 49 of them have been closed, okay? Of the 49 that were closed, 81% of them got the SAF training done. I still have 51% of them that, are, that need to be done. Here they are by status. Here it is by person. So I know who's done the job I asked them to do, right? Um, and now I've got a, a follow-up methodology for, for, for each person. And if I'm a rep, I'm looking at this just for myself. Uh, and I can click through and say, hey, which accounts haven't I done this in yet? And um, you know, using the drill throughs, pop open that list and plan the rest of my week to go out and, and accomplish this important task. So that was fast, furious, it's one methodology. We could have used surveys to track the actual execution in the accounts and then you know scores and goals and everything else, but this was a quick down and dirty way to do this. Hopefully it was in somewhat insightful, but really the key message is, uh, Let's start working together to make sure you're leveraging the sales data compared to the activity data. That's the secret sauce, right? Um, and what is that ROI for getting that activity done? And then let's plan to do more of the things that work, right? So, that's it, any questions? Nope.